Honestly, the knife industry has to take notice on what Civivi and Wee Knives is doing. And really, a lot of manufacturers need to step their game up because this conspirator that I recently picked up, I would put in the top five pocket knives I've handled recently and particularly this year. And there's four reasons for that. This one, one is just fun factor. And I'm going to hit that right out of the gate, right? A blade's got to be fun, particularly if it's a pocket knife. If it's a pain in the neck to open and close, then you're probably not going to carry it that often. This Conspirator has all of the fun of a crossbar locking mechanism, like on this SOG tack, or think of your favorite Benchmade axis lock. You know, these are just fun. You can just pull the lock bar back whip it open, whip it closed. Well, you can do that, but this does not have a crossbar. It has a button lock system like on your favorite auto. You know, the automatic lock system that most autos will have with that plunge lock, push button lock, where you push the button, the, pi the piston moves to the side, now the blade, blade can close. Then when it opens, it pops out and locks it into place. That's what this blade gives you. So it gives you all of that functionality and just fun whipping action of some sort of crossbar lock, but then the actuation and kind of lockup of an auto. So I can literally push the button, flip it open, push the button, flip it closed, never even touch the blade. You do have that really nice flipper as well with just some minor jimping, not gonna be painful at all. I can flip it open that way. And because of the fuller style right there, I can even just put my thumb on the blade and flick it open that way. So I have three different ways to easily manipulate the tool. It's running on ceramic ball bearings, good for EDC. You got a little bit of rock side to side. I got nothing up and down, nice and solid up and down. We gotta follow that up with the blade itself. That blade shape with that spear point design Excellent, really cool little swedge there that highlights it well, precise tip that's gonna pierce and penetrate. Uh, I wouldn't be cranking on this side to side. I wouldn't say that this is a hard use folder. It's an excellent everyday carry folder for piercing and penetrating. And then that fuller again with that really nice accent that also works as a deployment feature if you want with that micronic jimping, very light, but gives it some cool flair. And then that kind of smoke wash on this particular option in nitro V steel. They do have a Damascus steel look as well. And they have a couple different blade, you know, options in the sense of its color and how it looks. Uh, this is the black on black version is what they call it when you're actually like ordering it or picking it up. And so, uh, the Nitro V, really interesting. I've only used it on one or two other blades before. It's basically a souped up Sandvik 14C28N. It's that property then with more Valadium mixed in, which makes it tougher when rock weld and heat treated properly. I'm seeing good heat treat and good rock weld. Uh, Sabibi says that they're doing it 59 to 61, which is right where Nitro V needs to be for it to be tougher than your Sandvik and therefore gonna hold a little bit of a better edge and have better wear resistance. And so you're getting an excellent blade steel and it's kind of exotic right now. You know, you only see it sometimes in some exotic folders as well as uh, fixed blades in even sometimes kind of like the mid-tech realm. So it's really exciting to see it on, you know, a high production folder. But folks, before we go any further in the video, I wanna give a big shout out to today's sponsor, which is Rocky Talkie. You know, I've been entrusting these radios for over the past year as my family and I have full-time RV going from the Canadian border to the Mexican border from coast to coast and everywhere in between through all types of terrain that had no cell phone coverage. It allows us to stay in communication when we were going through campgrounds, but also helping us just park in the RV and, you know, get situated, not have a big blow up trying to communicate to each other. Just makes it simple and easy, but also have used it on many backcountry adventures where it really shines. And that's made possible with its lithium ion battery pack that will last three to five days and is resistant down to a negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And that battery charge I've seen over the last year holds up excellent, but then also it's power. You know, it's a two watt power radio and line of sight will go over 25 miles. I've tested that myself across a lake that was uh, from spot to spot over 11 miles, but then in mountainous terrain, it works from three to five miles and gives you that much range. And we were able to test that recently in the snowy range of Wyoming and had an excellent experience and it outperformed our expectations. So you guys are gonna go head on over that ridge line. 
uh, to go do some fishing yep, and first. take those walkie talkies. Let's see if we can get some signal here in a bit. Yeah, I can hear everything you're saying perfectly fine. So they went over the ridge line and down back over to Cutthroat Lake. And it speaks to its rugged build quality and its capability and has now become an essential piece of equipment when I do my outdoor adventures. So I'll have a link in the description box below over to their website as well as a promo code for 10% off your purchase. And guys, with that, let's go ahead and get back to it. So now with two down and two to go, this micarta handle scale on this version is so cool. Companies are starting to do micarta more on folders. I love it. This has a warm feel to it. It's not slick, but it's not like really tactile. It's this great blending of the two that you can see there. I love it. As soon as I saw that it had an option for micarta, I was like, I want to get that. They do have a version that is in Coca-Cola wood, I believe. Uh, and then you can get it in green handles. And I think there's one other color combination currently um, available, but really good textile, tactile, tactile feel to it. And I love it. And just kind of that gray black just goes so well together. Feels good. Good milling all the way around. A little bit of concaving by the button there. Uh, it's about 4.6 inches overall length, uh, 0.51 on the thickness. So excellent for you know pocket carry fits my large size hands well that guard's going to lock you into place and then you got that little bit of jimp to work with their steel liners that have been milled out so again just thing after thing after thing we're seeing here of really good detail really good attention to what's going on there you can see the flow through construction uh, and the detail and it comes in about 3.8 ounces for this particular model so under four ounces is excellent for a basically a three and a half inch blade knife with my card up. Now uh, it is ambidextrous because it does have that flipper action, but then they also did recess screws on the loop over deep ride pocket clip. Excellent. More and more companies need to be doing this. I see a lot of loop overs that still have the big, you know, uh, bolts sticking up that oftentimes are thicker pockets just bind up on. And so it eliminates what it's supposed to be doing. They ride high. This not the case going to fit really nicely in your pocket. You can flip it over and just rotate it in for the opposite side there. And then uh, the pocket clip is good. It looks it, it's very basic. It's black. So that's good. Uh, it just feels kind of like a gas station pocket knife clip to me. Um, if they could accent that a little bit more, I think there are some aftermarket versions that Civivi does that you could do. Decent flare there, um, doesn't cause any issues. It's on the verge of being too high, but uh, I've never had a catch on anything, so that's good uh, in that regard. So the micarta, the handle, you know how they designed it, all those attributes from bottom to top. I'm like, oh my gosh! And then the final factor is the pricing. It's coming in at eighty dollars. On average, you can sometimes find them for 70. Blade HQ actually is where I picked it up. It was 70 bucks. Amazon uh, was 80, you know? And so uh, for that pricing, 70, $80, for all the things that we're seeing here, I mean, whoa. For under, well under $100, getting a blade that functions, operates, I mean, the world needs to take notice, particularly those brands that are stationed here in America that are outsourcing to China many of their middle to low end blades I'm seeing have nowhere near the level of fit and finish and attention to detail and just styling. I mean, just styling that the Civivi is doing and they often have lower grade materials like lower blade steel, lower handle material, uh, often lower uh, fit and finish and they're charging the same or more for blades that they're making overseas. So, you know, there, there's something to be said of, um, you know, figuring out not only the styling, but just fit and finish quality control out there on the market uh, to compete because um, Civivi, Wee Knives, they're coming in swinging hard. And this, I guys, I'm telling you, this is an excellent blade. This is an excellent blade, but I want to hear from you guys. What's your take uh, on Civivi in general? We in knives in general. Um, do you own this particular model? How is it performing for you? Leave comments below. I appreciate when you guys leave your feedback and what your take is, but guys, um, you know, this is one of the best pocket knives for fit and finish quality materials uh, and functionality and fun factor. I keep throwing in my pocket. I'm, I'm having difficulty putting other pocket knives I'm working with right now in rotation because of how just functional, capable, but also enjoyable 
the tool is to use and that speaks to its designing and materials. So um, that's my take guys on Civivi, on the Conspirator. I wanna hear from you guys. Uh, always appreciate you guys recommending other gear maybe that I'm not aware of or you know items that you want me to test out, review and give you my feedback on. Appreciate you guys so much. Check out the other video popping up and until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared and I'll see you out there.